about something uh, now that is so important that, that I actually did what I don't do. I interrupted or postponed my workout by 10 minutes. Now, that's not necessarily true because I did 50 squats. Well, you saw that on the live stream, those of you that saw it. I did, uh, I, did uh, I think uh, it was 50 push-ups or something. That was early in the morning. I didn't even live, I didn't even uh, think of live streaming it. But it's something very important combined with two things. Well, first of all, some big news. We're also very soon going to be on Audible. Okay. Now, a lot of you prefer audiobooks, and uh, it's not something that it's not something that personally I prefer either reading a book on the computer or you know uh, my Kindle or whatever. Although I don't have a Kindle, I have an equivalent. Um, I'd rather read the written word as opposed to listen, but a lot of you prefer to listen, which is fine, perfectly fine. Now, uh, what I want to talk about, and this is before I, this is again, uh, before I begin, begin uh, my workout, is this topic of money, magnetizing money, and it's come all the rage these days to all the self-help gurus and uh, Everybody that knows anything about anything has got something to say about it. Okay, well, and especially these days with the economy the way it is, and uh, well, I got this to say, my friend, and I'm here in the splits. I might as well get a bit of a workout in while talking to you because I got 10 minutes. I'm gonna try and finish this in uh, 10 minutes. Um, my own take on this, my friend, is most of what you're being taught by these self-help gurus, these uh, guys that claim they've, that they've, that they've uh, actually magnetized money, it's, it's a lot of it is false, and uh, you don't have to believe me. You take a look at your own results. If you're getting better results, honestly, long term, after following a lot of the stuff people say, well, good for you, but a lot of people aren't, which is why I decided to put this video out and this is also going to be part of uh, the Ten Commandments of uh, Successful Sales, one of my products I haven't fully really promoted a lot, but I plan on doing that now. Um, now, uh, this is about magnetizing money, or but it could be, you can apply this to fitness, to any sort of results you want in your life, it'll work. Now. I'm not gonna sit here, uh, or a lot of people. Let's cover. Let's talk about money, since that's what most. That's what uh, you know. Most people are interested in. A lot of people. Uh, a lot of people have been taught many different ways to do it. Okay, I'm gonna go over them in brief. The main ways. Well, some of them work to an extent. Some flat out don't work. Uh, oddly enough, those are what most people follow. And. A lot of it only works if you have the right mindset or it'll backfire, okay? Now, what do I mean by this? Um, a lot of people have this thinking about, or they've been taught, that in order to magnetize money, you have to use affirmations. Now, this is a half-baked truth. You know, I've debunked it many times, people's results have. But simply saying, I am rich will not attract money to you in any which way, shape, or form. I know that's what everybody tells you to do. Write it down. Look at it, you know, morning and evening. Uh, Napoleon Hill in Think and Grow Rich mentioned a version of this, but that's key, a version of it. The words you use to yourself are what really subconsciously set forces in motion that magnetize things to you seemingly magically, but it's all perfectly logical when you join the dots looking backward. Like Steve Jobs said, you can only join the dots looking backward, not ahead of time. You follow your gut. Okay? Uh, it's like it's like if you're hungry, and I've been there many times. Uh, simply saying, I'm not hungry, will not bring you food. It might convince you temporarily, but it's not going to bring home the bacon. Okay? Uh, same thing with magnetizing money or whatever you want to magnetize. If you want to, if you want to be super fit, simply saying it will not set the forces in motion that actually get you to do the thing in the flow, which is very important in the flow. Um, 
all my products, including this one, Ten Commandments of Successful Sales, everything was written in the flow. What do I mean by that? My gut told me when to do it, how to do it, and I just did it at that, at that time. I didn't delay, I didn't dally, dilly, dilly, dally, anything. I just did it. Then I waited for the results to come. Now, that might sound like an incredibly stupid way of doing things, but if you look at some of the biggest companies, some of the biggest inventions, Amazon, one prime example that I've talked about so many times, Amazon Prime, web services, a lot of what you see today, which makes the real money at Amazon, when, you, when they first did it, nobody even thought it would make any money, let alone a lot of money. Bezos, he followed his gut. All great leaders do that. Um, now, a lot of people are told in order to magnetize whatever results you want in your life, you have to be that first before you magnetize it again. This is a half-truth. A lot of people are taught you have to dress the part. Again, half-truth. It works if you combine it with the right mindset. But simply dressing the part will not achieve anything on its own. I still remember, you know, Michael, a friend of mine, he used to make, way back in 2003, he used to make uh, four times the amount of money I did with one quarter the amount of work, you know. And he was like, when he first met me, hey, Raul, I'll be the one dressed like a bum sitting on the roadside drinking a beer. That's how he was all the time. And that's how I am, because uh, naturally, I don't prefer dressing up or being fancy. I'd, I'd rather be out here in, you know, shorts and sports attire and let my system make money for me on autopilot, which it does. While I create more products, I, create, I have more ideas, I put those ideas to work. Um, it's, so it's not about how you dress. It's not even necessarily only about the actions you take. Yes, actions are required. Yes, you have to follow certain principles. But if those actions are not backed up by the right thought, then it ain't gonna make a damn bit of difference because uh, you're not gonna achieve whichever goal you set out to achieve, okay? Your subconscious mind, my friend, is responsible for all the results you magnetize or gravitate towards yourself in this world. This is a truism you cannot escape from. Uh, think about something you really, really like. like Write it down on a sheet of paper. What do I really like? And just write down the first thing that comes to your mind. Or do it mentally. Do it in your mind. And you'll see, no matter what the economy is, no matter... And if you answer money, well, that's... Money is a means to an end. It's energy. Uh, it's... I understand. A lot of people will be like, oh, but we really like money. That's great. But what are you earning that money for? What are you going to do with that money? That's really what you want if you look deep down inside of you more to the point and moreover a lot of people have a completely negative image of having a lot of money even though they may not consciously realize it consciously they're like oh yeah it's a great thing subconsciously when you probe their thoughts and their actions show it like if you're constantly penny pinching if you're constantly whining about other people making money if you're constantly looking at other people's products or whatever, saying, hey, it should be cheap, it should be cheap, or, you know, uh, then chances are excellent, and second to none, that you have this erroneous thinking about money, and unless you change it deep down at your core, your self-image will never change. And that self-image in your subconscious is what drives results. Like I wrote about this morning, Ted Nicholas, 1980s, both magic words that bring you riches. Now, those words work, yeah. But do you have to use them? I don't know, buddy. I've never used them in my whole... Well, I probably, without knowing it, I've used some of them, but it was hardly a template that I used. In the Ten Commandments of Successful Sales, I tell you how I took a company from zero to hero. These weren't my words. This was my next employer. We were a rank startup. There were three people, myself, HR guy, and... Uh, operations guy and I, and then sales if there were no sales that company would have shut down very soon okay it didn't within six months it went from zero literally to 40,000 US dollars which in India at the time 2008 was a substantial bit of money for uh, a startup uh, and that's just one example you know 
you know, fitness-wise, I could sit here and talk to you about how I magnetize my fitness goals. Maybe I'll do that in another video, but money, yeah. A lot of people, even those that are into sales, have this negative belief about money, that it's bad. And no, simply sitting here and saying that no, I don't have this negative belief will not remove it from your system. Uh, there's what is it that you really want out of life? That's key. And what are you prepared to do to get there? If you really want something, chances are you're magnetizing it right now into your life, whether it be positive or negative. Chances are some of the actions you take are predetermined actions by your gut. Those actions, my friend, are really what you need to pay attention to and follow through on. Those actions are really what gets you what you really want. Okay, money included. It may not come through a, what may what may seem logical plan at the time. Other people, if you tell them, and that's why I told you, play your cards close to your chest. Other people may criticize, they may impart their own negative energy to it, all of that. But the bottom line, my friend, you have to trust your subconscious and obey it unquestioningly in order to magnetize whatever result it is that you want in your life to yourself. It's not simply about what you do, it's about how you do it. And in the Ten Commandments of Successful uh, Sales, which could be actually 20 because I've given you so many, you'll see what I did at that company. But don't just read the tips, read between the lines, read the emotion between the tips, uh, behind the tips, read the emotion or feel the emotion behind the words, feel what I was doing. Uh, let me tell you, I, I, there was no fancy sales presentations, there were no long uh, brochures or anything, we were a startup. All that I did was I worked for like 20-25 minutes every morning and probably the same amount after coming back sometimes half sozzled from, from, from you know, drinking with my buddies or whatever. I spoke to these clients and we got the business. Now how did that happen, you know? Obviously now, I wasn't that toasted that I couldn't talk. It's about attracting things to you in a relaxed state of flow. And uh, I could sit here and talk about this all day long. But I wanted to do this video just to tell you these main things. Simply action by itself w will not magnetize money. If it did, then every laborer you see in this world would be a super multi-billionaire. No. It's about working smart. It's about action, but backed up by the right intention and thoughts from the subconscious. That's what it's about, my friend. That's what it's about. Um, you can dress the part all you like. You can try and convince yourself all you like. You can write down your goals. You can use tarot cards. You can use affirmations. Some work, most don't. And I've told you the ones that do work on my site, but none of it's gonna make a damn bit of difference until you want it with a burning desire from inside and you find your own unique way to accomplish what you want once you figure out what it is you want you ask most people what they want out of life oh we want money well whoopity do we want money don't we all i mean what do you really want you know most people are scared to admit or acknowledge what they really want because they've been taught they can never get it They've been taught it's bad, they've been taught you shouldn't think about yourself, and all this other bullshit, which is all utter, it's all utter nonsense, I'm here to tell you right now, okay? Uh, there's so much more to this topic that uh, I could uh, keep talking about it for hours, but for now, remember, conceive, believe, achieve. It's a zero excuses fitness mantra. You conceive, you see yourself there, you feel yourself there, you keep your cards close to your chest, you believe you can do it because you've done it before. If you haven't done that thing before, you draw upon any other past success that you have. Okay? And then achieve, then go out there, be willing to do what it takes, take the hard knocks, take the falls. You'll fail along the way, plenty of times, but there's no other way around it. If you don't fail, you're never gonna succeed. Okay? Uh, this is part one of how to magnetize money effortlessly to you or whatever result you so choose. Remember, along with this, get that book, The Ten Commandments of Successful Sales. It'll soon be on Audible. You can get it from there. For now, get it from my website. 
and then get it from Audible because uh, we're probably not going to be selling audiobooks for now through my website. It'll probably be done through Amazon uh, exclusively, you know. I know I can put it on iTunes or whatever, but yeah, it'll be there also on iTunes, but um, okay, and remember, all the affirmations in the world, all the self-help talk in the world, all the crap about, you know, uh, you, you gotta wear this on X number of days, or you gotta use these specific words, all of that isn't important, what's important is you and your burning desire, if you want it bad enough, you'll find a way, alright? And uh, the secret to this is what Napoleon Hill said in the opening stanza or introduction to Think and Grow Rich. I could tell you this right now, and I have actually in these words, but um, it would be far better and more beneficial for you to discover it yourself. If I just explained it more in words, then yeah, you'd get it to an extent, but you wouldn't get the benefit. Trust me, you have to feel it in order to really, quote unquote, feel it. That's that for this video, buddy, and um, or men and women, gentlemen, whatever you. Uh, I'm off for my workout. This is part one, and uh, I'm going to cover all these points in great detail. And for real life example, get that book. I didn't just magnetize money for myself there. I did it for a ranked startup company, which is one of the toughest things in any economy to accomplish. And I've replicated that success with my fitness business with all my other businesses. Funnily enough, I didn't even know how to do a lot of the stuff I was doing before I did it successfully. More on that in the next episode. For now, it's ciao and uh, I'll see you all soon.